Hey guys, back to do a favorite completed journals video. I've had a few people say, what's the favorite, what are some of your favorites that you've finished? So I thought I would go ahead and do that for you guys. I'm going to do it in order by volume. So the first one would be this one. If you guys remember this one, this is volume 6, I believe. Yes, volume 6, because I know it came before the panda. And the reason why I like this one is just, I'm a 90s kid. This brought back a lot of, like, nostalgia to me. And I couldn't pass it up when I had found it for a dollar, so. Plus, I love the colors of it. And this, the wings are actually glitter. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. My light's not the best, but there's definitely glitter on the wing. So, this is definitely a favorite that I finished, and I stuffed this one pretty full. Cool. Speaking of the, sorry I bought my laptop, of the panda, that is my next one. You guys might have seen the flip through that I did on this. Surprisingly, my most popular flip through. Um, main reason I liked this one was the time that I was using it, I was wanting a like small, compact little journal. So this fit the bill perfect. In case you're wondering about where the pen is, it actually broke, but I was using a different pen with it anyway, so it didn't matter. But also, my fiance got me this one when we first started dating, like, five years ago now, because this year will be seven years, and I remember right when we hit the one-year anniversary and he started coming over here regularly, he got this for me at Claire's. So, it's special to me in that way, but it's also special to me for the fact that I was wanting a small, compact journal at the time. And it's also a favorite because you guys like the flip through that I did, so it's a favorite for that reason too. And in case you want about the rattling, I have some stickers in here that rattle, so that's what you were hearing if you were wondering why was the noise. And I apologize, my chair is very squeaky. I still cannot seem to get it to quit doing that for the life of me for some weird reason, but here's in the way. There we go. My next favorite would be this one that you guys have seen. This is volume 10, I think. Let me open it. Yes, volume 10. And I had gotten this one at TJ Maxx. You, might, you guys might remember when I had either mentioned it or hauled this in a video. I can't remember exactly which, but I really like this one because I'm obsessed with Paris, as you guys know from my old filming spot. You saw the Paris poster above me or behind me, so I really like Paris, and I also really liked the color scheme with this one and how the pages were colored and different on every page. So, yeah, definitely... A favorite for that reason. This one only took me like I think a, a month, like a month and a week, I think. Let me see. It was a month and eleven days is what it was. So I wasn't too far off. So almost five weeks with this one, but this one got stuff full as well. And for those of you wondering, this is the handling and how thick it got. Trying not to drop any of these. Um, the next one would be this one that you guys have seen. This is probably the only journal that I have done a part one and part two on the flip through. And that was just because my camera cut off in the middle of it. And it is this big black one from Walmart. This one is insanely thick. 
and again, it's special to me just because this journal I was wanting from Walmart for a while, and my fiance knew that, and he was like, well, you can go ahead and grab it, I'll get it free, when we were at Walmart, and so it's special to me because I've been wanting it for a while, but it's also special to me because he got it for me, so... Yeah, just the sentimental factor with this one is very strong. And all of these stickers are from Dollar General, by the way, in case you guys are going to ask. But yeah, this one ended up being really thick. I kind of hated that it ended up being a two-part flip-through, but I guess it worked out for the better since between the two it was well over 50 minutes. So there's that. And my last favorite for the ones that I have completed, I think I just recently posted this flip through, it's like 20 minutes long, and it is the Tree of Life journal. This one is a favorite because it is my first leather bound that I have finished, and I had always wanted to try a leather bound. And I always have hair ties on my journals that are thick like this, just to hold it together. But, yeah, I was definitely excited about using this and, you know, using it definitely was a treat. I was, I think I took this with me to VBS when I was doing VBS this year at my church because I had just finished a volume and I wanted to start a new one and the other two that I had had at the time. Wasn't sure if it was going to offend anybody, so that's why I went with this one. Because I didn't want to offend anybody with it. So, so, I think the two that I'd had at the time was The Spirit of Flight, which might have offended somebody. The Paris one I knew wasn't going to offend somebody. But, definitely a good one. And then, this isn't one that I finished, but I thought I would just go ahead and bring it up. My favorite one that I'm currently working on is this one. I have two going, I have my art journal in this one. Um, the reason that I really like this one, you might have guessed if you watched the haul video that I did with my fiance, he got me this one for my birthday, along with a Paris one from Claire's. And I absolutely love it for that reason, but I also really love the color scheme that's on this. And I also love the, sorry, wrong way, smile message that's on the side. Because it just reminds me that even though the time has been a year rough, it's always important to have a smile on your face. And try not to let anybody know what's going on. I think. Except a therapist if you have it, which I have been seeing one lately. I have to change it entirely. But, yeah, definitely a favorite here for that reason. Okay, guys, those were the favorite completed journals. I am also going to be doing a favorite blank journals video as well so keep an eye out for that and i will see you guys in another video another time i guess